Hi, my name is Alex with ATEC Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about how to create custom fields and add them to your Jira project. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Let's jump into Jira. But before we get too far, I do want to give a disclaimer. You want to be a site level administrator or at least have some sort of Jira administrator privilege. And you will know that because when you go to your Jira, if you click on the little gear and you see issues, then you're good to go. All right. Assuming you can't see this, go ahead and click on issues. On the left hand side, you're going to see custom fields. Click on that. And then on the far right top side of your screen, you should see create custom field. Click on that and then you're going to be presented with a bunch of different field types. There's a lot of different field types. I'm not going to cover them all. I'm going to cover some of the common ones, some of the ones that are that I'm doing a lot. But at the end, I'm going to basically give you an example of the most common field that I'm adding to, I would say, 90% of my Jira projects. The first one here is a date picker. This one's pretty common. I like this one. This one's great if you're trying to put additional dates. Out of the box, you get a start date and a due date in Jira. But if you want to add intermediate dates, if you want to do like a go live date or I don't know, a code complete date, whatever you want, this is the one you're going to want to pick. Now, you do have an option between the date picker and the date time picker. The difference being the time one also includes the time. I tend to find this to be a little bit of overkill, but it's up to you. Just know that it's there. But I typically go with the date picker. The next one is the number field. I really, really like the number field. Even though it's restricted to just a numerical value in the text box, it's a really cool field because it allows you to create all kinds of mathematical automation rules that allow you to manipulate the values by performing basic arithmetic. And that's really cool because you can multiply, you can divide, you can add, subtract, you can do a couple of other things. Um, but the number field is going to basically give you some really, really interesting functionality that most fields in Jira don't, don't ever let you do. So definitely recommend you try this out if you're trying to do some sort of math in Jira. The next field is a paragraph. The paragraph is basically a large text box, which is contrasted with the short text box down here. So these is basically a big one where you can manipulate and add bullets and a bunch of information, or the short text box is going to be a small rectangle where you can put, I don't know how many characters, but you're limited to the number of characters there. But without a doubt, the most common fields that are usually um, being utilized in a Jira project are these select lists. Now there's three of them, and so let me cover all three, and at the end I'm going to show you my favorite one. Well, not really my favorite one, but it's the one that I find myself creating, I would say 90% of the time. So the first one is this cascading select list. This one's really interesting. This one allows you to define a top level list, and then you can define a sub list. Now, based on the value that is selected at the top level, the sub list or the sub menu will dynamically be changed based on your selection before. So this one's really interesting. I will warn you though, that it is a pretty advanced field. It doesn't work with every feature in Jira. So it does have a couple of quirks, but I highly recommend you give this one a try, especially if you want to do a two tier hierarchy within your list. Keep in mind though, that it only works for two tiers. You can't do a three, four, five. And so you're limited to just one and two. And that's it. The other one is a select list for multiple choices. This one's really interesting because it allows you to essentially pick a lot of values when presenting something to your users. And so this one is going to be great. And it can be confusing because sometimes users won't know that you can put select different things. But for the most part, if you use this field, you're going to like it because your users can hold control and select two, three, four different options. And then those values are going to come into your Jira project. And now for the final one, the most common, I'm doing these almost every single day, and that's gonna be the single choice select list. This as described is a single choice only. And so when you select this one, your user is essentially gonna be presented with options and they're gonna be able to pick from one option only. And just to recap, all of these are gonna behave the same way. I'm about to show you an example on the single choice, but every single one of these field types, depending on which one you pick, you're going to select it, you're going to select the field type, you're going to go to the next screen, you're going to have to give it a name, and then you go to the final screen, which is where you basically place the field on your Jira project. Now, watch these steps because 
Some of them are going to vary, but really you're only going to add options to the field type that allow you to add an option. Otherwise, you're just going to give it a name, select the type, give it a name, add it to the screen. So let's look at an example. Selecting the select list, going to click next. I'm going to give it a name, right? Favorite dessert. And then you can just put whatever you want. Turkey. Turkey is not a dessert. Cake. Ice cream. Candy. Okay. Once you've selected your options or basically presented your options, you will click create. And now you're going to be prompted with selecting which screen is this issue going to show up on. Now, sometimes you do have a chicken and egg situation. The screen does need to exist. So depending on where you are in your workflow, you might have to go back into the screen section, create the screen, and then come back in and add the field. Otherwise, if their screen already exists, like it does here, you're just gonna click on the little checkbox that you want, click update. And then as a final test, you can click create, you can go all the way down and you'll see that your favorite dessert is there with your options. And that's pretty much it. That's how you add a custom field to your Jira project. From your screen, you can move it up and down. Go watch the other videos that I got on that. And that's pretty much it. So if you haven't subscribed by now, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching this entire video and please drop a like. It helps the algorithm a lot. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see an example from one of the other field types, let me know in the comments and I'd be more than happy to make an additional video. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.